Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here with another After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be going over this volumetric uh, particle trail. I see this effect going on a lot in vines and stuff. Um, you know, no one really knew its name, so I kind of want to name this tutorial that one effect that everyone does on Vine, but no one knows what it's called. But yeah, here are a few examples if you want to see it in action first. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is what it looks like just on its own. Just a little forewarning, you do need a plugin called Trap Code Particular. I would, if I were you, I would look up how to get that on YouTube if you don't have it already. But anyway, let's just hop right into this. So first off, you're going to create a new composition. It does not matter what size it is or anything like that. And you're going to make a new solid black layer. Actually, the color doesn't matter. Just make a new solid layer. And then uh, effects and presets, you're going to go ahead and type in Particular. And you're gonna double click that, get it applied to your layer. And the first thing you're gonna do is go over to emitter, change the emitter type from point to light. And um, what After Effects is gonna tell you is that when you're using a light, it's gonna actually use a light layer. And that light layer has to have the word emitter at the beginning of it for it to work. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna create a new layer, create a new light, make it a point light. And name that light emitter. And uh, that's it. That's all you gotta do. And so now if we uh, change around the position of the light, you can see that the little particles right here are moving around with the light. So we're just going to make some quick keyframes here. Uh, we're just going to have it come from off screen. We're going to set a keyframe, go farther a little bit, about two seconds, and then have it come about midway through and now as you see as the keyframe changes the particles are kind of getting stretched out and all that because they're originating from the light point and then they're kind of drifting off into space depending on you know what direction you're going and all that so i have it go from the top left to the bottom right uh i'll change these handles right here just to give it a little curve be a little bit nicer motion than just moving straight across if you do not have handles on this uh position line here you're gonna want to select both of these keyframes, right click, go to keyframe and uh, interpolation, and then under the spatial interpolation, change it to continuous bezier, and that'll make it so you can curve the line. Uh, vice versa, if you have the line curve, you don't want it hit linear, and that'll make it straight. That's just a little quick tip for you. So yeah, so I'm just gonna make it a little curved, and then now we're done with that. You don't really have to mess with the light at all, so we're gonna click off there. And now go to the particular layer and under here under emitter we're going to change the particles per second up i'm going to change it to about 500 and get some more particles in there i'm going to change the velocity down to about 50 or so and then i'm going to change the emitter size from 50 by 50 by 50 to all zeros so zero on every axis perfect and then let's see i think that's about it for the emitter setting so we're going to go down to particle and then the lifespan, I'm just going to bump it up to about 5 seconds so we know for a fact the particles won't disappear in our composition. And then I'm actually going to change the size down to 0 and you'll see why I'm doing that in a second. You could leave it up, it's just whether or not how you want to do it. I'm just going to change it to 0 for now. And then, actually I take that back. Let's leave it up at 5 just so we can change the color real quick. I'm going to make it blue because my favorite color is blue. Now we can change the size back down to 0. Alright, so after you're done with that, close out a particle and we're going to go to aux system. So the auxiliary system is the particles that trail behind the main particle. So the, the secondary particles essentially. We're going to turn the emit from off to continuously. And we're going to change the particles per second to a, a higher number. We're just going to match the main particle. So put it at 500. And then go from color over so color over life is what's making it the rainbow colors go ahead and go right under it and change color from main percent to 100 so it's using the blue that we uh, selected and then now also you're going to try to want to change the life or how long these particles stay active from 0.5 to uh, a bigger number so we're going to go with five again just so we know they last over our whole composition so right now we're starting to get the shape a little bit of what we're looking for the only thing now we're missing mainly is the shading so Lo and behold, we're going to go to the shading tab and turn it on for the aux. So shadow lit for aux, we're going to turn it on. And as you can see, once it loads up, now we have shading. Uh, it looks kind of weird, it looks kind of gray, but 
to fix that we're gonna go to shadow lit shadings and we're gonna change the opacity up to let's try 20 or so that'll make it a little bit darker okay that's too high let's change it to 10 let's see how that looks all right so that looks a little bit better kind of gives it it gives it depth it gives it that volume like i was saying it looks like instead of just being you know just straight particles it looks like they're kind of got like you know like a thick kind of smoky looking feeling but anyway for the most part that's going to be it because now you have the basic shape going like i said a lot of this is going to be playing with it to get it to look how you want to uh i'm not going to go out and you know define all the characteristics that you need for it i'm not going to tell you how to use it i just want to uh let you know about the effect and just how to do this one a little bit more specifically because Trap Code Particular is a really, really heavy duty uh, plugin that can do a lot of different things. This is just one thing it can specifically do. So anyway, if you guys have any more requests or if you have any questions, make sure to drop a comment down below. But anyway, I've been Soren and I'm out. Thank you.